This game is rated M for mature. Hello! Alrighty. Time to have a look around. What the hell's that? What's that building? Oh, the Woodland Building. New York City. Well, ain't that nice looking. Anything back here? Nothing at all except for... <laughs> Bigby's wonderful, handsome face. Uh... This is Briar Rose's place. Who's that? Who's who's Briar Rose? It rings some kind of bell, but I don't know which bell. Snow said Crane lives in one nine zero three. All right, then. Wait, what? That door is open. Why is that door open? Why is the door open? Someone's inside. Or Crane didn't close his door, which would be stupid. In case someone's in there, I don't want to warn them. I'm just going in. Ichabod Crane's apartment. Crane? The Woodland Building, 12.05 a.m. One hour and 55 minutes left. Oh, God. Are we timed now? I don't want to be timed. I... Damn it. Must have missed him. There's got to be something about his witch here. That's what I think. Okay, let's have a look around. Anything over here in the foreground? Nope. And that way's the door. Okay. There's indeed something over there. What? Um. Was that the clock? Why did that ring now? It's... It's five minutes past twelve. You're not supposed to be ringing. What? I have never heard of a clock that rings at five minutes past twelve. What the hell? Hmm. Well, it's a nice picture. But still, you're an asshole. Hello? I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Well, yeah, he did look kinda happy. Hmm. Math, science, history. If I had to guess, this shit didn't work. <laughs> what the? The joy of love making, and I think I saw some Kama Sutra right there. Uh, anything else? The sensual men, or man. I'm. I'm. What? I'm fine. You're fine. Okay. Sure. Whatever. It's cool. Rainy weather. This is a nice screenshot. But anyway, there's no time for screenshots right now. Is there anything here? Uh, nope. Clearly not. Hello. A statue. The Headless Horseman. Are we gonna meet the Headless Horseman? I want to meet the Headless Horseman, please! That would be awesome. Hmm. What have we here? My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. I'm not watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> really? Crane, if you really love someone, then don't be a creeper about it. Say it. Tell them. Don't be a creepy, stalkery, perverted fantasy person. And what's inside here? Anything of use? Oh, money. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Okay, so Crane is working for the Crooked Man? Um, yeah. I'll take that. I have confiscated the money! Oh! And the key! I can make use of this somewhere, I'm sure. Might be useful. Indeed. And let's have a look at this. There's a message. Let's hear it! Ways to use my time. So, if you can go ahead and pay him 
by Friday, that would be great. All right? Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on, pal. See ya! And who was that? Whoever it was sounded like a bitch. I'm just saying, sounded like a bitch, an evil bitch. This hasn't been used in years. Anything in it? I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. Oh, really? Hm. Sincerely, Jeremy. Who might that be? Jeremy Cricket? Is that is that the name, Jeremy Cricket? Maybe. Anyway, uh, don't think there's anything else here. Is there anything over here? Nope. Nothing at all. And this? Any secret buttons? Really? Yep, really. He has a freaking bust of himself. Now you know what kind of man he is. Ooh. I think maybe we can use the key right here. No smashing the door open. That's gonna hurt up my arm. Probably. What the? Oh, you? No? Uh -oh. <gasps> Jack? Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. What are you doing? This weather, right? Stop damp, bullshitting me. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now! Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. What? It's a stipend. But you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Yeah. Okay! There aren't any plants, and you are you going me. out the window. Just take it easy. I don't like being lied to. Okay, okay. Now tell me the truth. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need Yeah, what witch. sources are those? A little Robin also, heard anything about, about a witch? Right? Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? I'm getting at you helping me and I won't punch you. What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. La 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 right? la la. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? Please. No, it's just me. Oh really? Just take it easy. Oh really? Ow. God damn it, my arm. Why does it have to hurt? You know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Shut up. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Looking for are clues. You just wandering around as always. The I mean, what's the point? I'm investigating. Sure. Don't be an ass. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway. It was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Uh-huh. As if. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh, squeeze through. No? You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. Why? I think I can help you out. What's that supposed to mean? If it's information you want, I'm the guy to ask. What do you mean? You're looking for Crane's witch, right? Look, I'm not stupid. Big B Wolf comes in here asking about witches in Crane's apartment. I'm not a mathematician, but I know two plus two is five, am I right? Eh? I can tell you <laughs> who she is. If you're interested. Information uh, comes at a price, huh. though. But I'm sure you already knew that. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Uh-huh. Come on, what do you say? Well, if you're lying, I'll come back to punch you. Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. 
Thank you. Her name is Auntie Green. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's gotta be something illegal. I hope you're not lying to me, Jack. Scout's honor, Sheriff. I am so intimidating. Uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her. God damn it. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. That is true. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. Oh, really? I'm <sighs> not so sure yet. It was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. What's in this thing? Hello? The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Yes. Shut up. It's a thing. The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> you find any more of these? Uh, no. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Give them to me. What? You know what. Hand them over. Give them here, funny man. That it? Pick me? Oh, hey, Snow. We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... Jack. What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going <laughs> on? <laughs> Our friend Jack was caught stealing. Oh, come on. Is that right? I thought we had an understanding. But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it, it doesn't could matter be. yet. It could we not still be. Have to Who knows? Him. Damn it, I'm Crane's too slow. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. I'm talking way We're too much, to cut it clearly. Close as it is, we have to figure out where he's meeting her. I'll figure it out. I have confidence in myself. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Um... Well... Not sure if Holly or Gren is going to be cooperative still, and who knows what I'll find over there. Then again, Bluebeard went that way, so if I run into him, then I'll be angry because I don't want to see that goddamn idiot. So, yeah, I guess I'll go to the place no one's been to yet. So, Trip Trap. I'll go to the Trip Trap, see about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. You're damn right we will. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. Ha <laughs> ha. Dumbass. The Trip Trap Bar, The Bronx, 1.15 a.m. Time's running out. Only 45 minutes left. Closed? <laughs> what the? He's asleep, you fucking idiot. He didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Just, you know, what happened. We know what um, happened. Or how it Well, someone's in there, and I probably shouldn't do that. this. Well... That's just gonna get me in more trouble. Um. Wait here for a bit. Knock knock. Who's there?
Hello. We're closed. I need to talk to Holly. Thank you. Oh. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Hello? You look drunk? Well, come on in, buddy. Or stoned, or both. Brent, what? He's a traveler. Oh, hi, Woody. We're <laughs> just noticing you, like, oh, there you are. Hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Well, that's nice, I guess. Hey, Woody. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Um, friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says or what you say? Ah, still an asshole. Clearly. Grant, really, you. So drink right why now. are you like this? I can't hear you when you're mumbling. Drinking too much, or? Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? And why is that? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia. Ah. For the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. Ah, okay. I get it now. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Indeed, it's a bad idea. A very bad idea. I've tried. Did not end well. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. Well, you're going down now. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? <laughs> Can't say you being there helped things much. Oi! Ren, don't Come start on! Who's starting anything? Jesus! I'm not. You are quite comical, but still. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away, though, didn't they? Yes, but... Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. Okay. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith, and after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to yeah, get loaded. Yeah, I really I don't, don't have time for this, dude. I have only 45 just a minutes quick left. Slug. Now less I action. Hurt anybody. I'm running out of time, Gren. You are so getting smacked. Like the glass. Gren. The doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said no, no. I'm sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Now is not the time for this, gentlemen. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop it. What no more fighting. do you want? Cut this shit out now, I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. What? This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. Huh. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out, and you knew for a damn good fucking reason. Well now. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can I think, think you two need wants. to grow the frig up. I don't give up. a shit. 
No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? I can think of Everything's something. a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? When Tweedledee came in here two nights ago, why'd you run? I was scared, okay? I, I didn't want to go down for something I didn't do. I never would have hurt that girl, Bigby. All right. Running is a horrible idea, then. You goddamn idiot. Both of you. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. Yeah, I'll try my best. The uh, ogres, too. Thanks for that. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. Okay. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? Mm-hmm. What a fucking day. Indeed. <laughs> Red won't remember this. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. Oh, that's a perfect touch right there. Grin won't remember this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't want to wake her up, so I probably shouldn't do any of these. Um, anything important over here? Um, Bigby, why do you have to... Why'd you have to slightly bump the crate of alcohol? There was no need to do that. Why would you do that? Hello. I think I found the things. Holly, could you move your arm? Okay, <laughs> thank you. That was easy. Okay. Let's have a look-see. And don't make noise this time, Bigby. Hello. <sighs> Hi. Uh-oh. That you, Woody? Oh. No. Woody? I'm Is not here. you, Woody? Bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so... You can run off back to the woods, I guess. Okay. Sure. Nothing to say about that, clearly. Did you care about her at all? What? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. But a nice girl. I thought you were a friend. Oh, I am. I'm a friend. And I'm sure Woody is a friend, too. I think you're talking about him. What's the Tweedle doing in the background? Such a perv? I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. Hey. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I don't think I should talk to her. I might wake her up. Um... Let's have a look at, I don't know, this? Yep. Dove and a deer. At least that's what I think. Um... Uh, not sure what that, what good this is going to do. Don't think we've learned anything else about the brooch, so... What's that address book? Now that sounds useful. Anti Greenleaf. Any Anti Greenleaf here? Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. I just don't know what Big B's doing. If he, if he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. 
I do. I don't. I'm not know. totally heartless. I don't know why you showed um, up. I I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but my what the hell? Life. He cares about this, about Lily, about Faith. I know he does. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> oh. Phone call. Don't wake Holly up, phone. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. AG? Gotcha. We got an address. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? I'm Maybe here. If you're there, pick up, okay? I am. Don't worry. Hello. Snow. Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's go. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there.